Hey friends, I am popping on today to work on a layout for Challenge Accepted. In this whole month, which is February 2021, we are going to be working along with the sketches for the She's Crafty mini paper pad class. So I already worked on this sketch on, 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 on Sunday. So I'm going to be doing it again, probably in a different way. And I'm thinking of putting it kind of this way. I don't know. Because I, I followed this sketch pretty strongly before. So I'm going to do something where embellishments are going more across the page. So more of a vertical design with my photo. And this is my photo, by the way. And I usually don't start with a photo, but it's on top. So here we are. It's not a great um, quality picture. So I turned it black and white. And that is my son, messy hair and all. And his girlfriend sent a Snapchat saying he always, he keeps stealing my coffee cup. So I thought it was a cute picture because he seems rather pleased with himself. So that will be going there-ish on the sketch, great. Now, the cool thing is with my kits, I only have two kits left that I have not used the 12 by 12 paper up on yet. So this time I have this one that's, the whole uh, kit is based around this Webster's Pages, My Happy Place Collection Paper Pad, and it's eight by eight this time. So much bigger pictures or uh, papers in it. And I had that in a 12 by 12 once. And I'm telling you, this catacorn reminds me of my son's girlfriend. And that's why I felt like I had to use it. Um, she actually is a crazy cat lady. So that works really well for that. I have all of these cute little squares that I might be able to bring in to use on instead of these circle bits. That might be really a cute, fun design. So I think I had better pull that out first. I like the idea of that. I like the little kitty cat with a crown too. That's showing us a really nice representation of all of the colors that is in this collection as well. So I liked that. And I really liked this one with the kitties. So I know I wanna use those. And for now, I'll put my paper to the side. Let's see what's in this little bin. I've got stickers from Webster's Pages again, which obviously would really work. I've got, ooh, this is kind of cool. I put this kit together a thousand years ago, so I don't even really know what's in here. I've got flair that reads, I love you, some chipboard little pieces, some sequins. Oh, these are these really weird says, aren't you lovely? That's kind of cute. They're like these little pockets. So I don't really know what I would be doing with them in this one. Although I can put it on and have my son's picture in front of it. I like that idea. So I'm going to keep that out. But I love all the little bits. Like these are like little tiny puffy stickers from Twine and Ink. Mm, cute. So I know I'll be using that. Let's keep that out. I've got this much older Dear Lizzie sticker pad. Oh my goodness. I mean, they are like, they're really, really chipboardy, which I like. I was trying to see, oh, 2012. Yeah, they've been around for a minute. They're really, really sturdy. Oh, Mr. Blue Sky, that's cute. I don't even know what it means, but I like it. So I have those, I'll put the, that to the side. Really, really like yellow gold. Heidi Swap stickers that I picked up on clearance at some point. This whole set of Dear Lizzie embellished brads, and I love that they're in gold. I like gold as my metal if I can. For alphas, let's see. I have these thickers here called Christmas in the Village. They're just black with a little bit of gold. Can use them for anything. I have two sets of those. And I also have this set here. They're by Momenta, and they're just little rounds. Easy peasy to use. I've got some, oops. Looks like, is this a sticker or is it a, oh, it is, it's a little sticker. Let me put that with my other stickers. I have some washi from Illustrated Faith, giant chipboard set of thickers from Dear Lizzie again, and these are 2014. Guys, I have a lot of stuff here. This is from the same collection as this um, paper pad. I've got alphas again. I've got all kinds of great. Oh, so that's where that sticker came out of. So very, very cool. I mean, I've got a lot here. I still got to find a background. Oh, I have all of these stickers here. 
And then I have kind of this, oh, I know these were from a hand-me-down from somebody. So it's baby on the one side and it might be a little bit brighter of a pink than I want to use. So I might end up just using the white. Uh, ooh, I have a piece of vellum in here. The uh, white cardstock. I have basil. I have blue. The blue might be fun with all the pink. So I just have to pick a background. So let's see. I have this. And I know I want to use some of these pieces. So black and white photo works for anything. I really like this, this almost melon pink color. So these two have to work. So do we want to go with the, oh, there's a little spot on it, this blue to bring in all of these cool pieces? Hmm. Or do we want to go with this yellowy color, which makes it all very yellow? I think we're going to go blue. Okay. So nice to know I have a piece of vellum. I didn't know I had any vellum in my stash. So we're going to move these 12 by 12s out of the way. Oh, we've got this rather green dramatic circle bit. That might be kind of fun to map my photo. Okay, I'm gonna have that out. I need my caterpillar. So we're doing more of a process of elimination than anything here. All right, so we have that. And then we know we have lots and lots of the, um, we have lots and lots of pattern paper from our paper pad to map photos and all of that kind of stuff. So the next thing I need to do is trim my branding strip, figure out what I want to do with these guys, but I think they're going to be part of the, the um, you know, how we have the circles on the sketch. I think I'm going to detail cut out a bunch of them and have them go along with the squares so I can have some different sizes and some different things going on. And I have this little dot that's on my paper. I think it's from the manufacturer. So I'm going to turn my paper to the side and just cover that with a catacorn or something. Got to trim my photo and yeah, and start coming up with the design. So I'll be back in a minute when I have a little bit more of an idea. Now I know I'm probably going to be bringing in some mist as well. Um, let's just pop that on my desk so that I have it at the ready because plain cardstock is not generally my thing it's just too plain does that make sense so we're just going to make sure we use plenty of patterns so that we can fill in some of that white space okay let me get this design down a little bit more and i'll be back okay so nice quick check-in time with i can come in just a little bit more with a a plan of action so you know that piece of paper that i showed you the eight by eight square with these a uh, little, I don't know, they look like one and a half inch little squares on them. Oh, there's a giant truck across the street. Anywho, I started cutting them so that I can cut the squares and I realized I really like the strips. And the strips kind of reminded me of the strips that are going this way currently in the sketch, but I'm going to have them run this way because that's the way the words work. Great. I showed you this pocket here. It's, it's like a plasticky pocket. I'm going to use that as some of my photo matting. And then I had this kind of weird, it looks like an old school Creative Memories die cut. I'm going to use that as well. I really like the bright green and it matches this bright green over here. Great. Then I cut out five of the catacorns because I like things in odd numbers. And I'm going to have them replicate these circles. And they're just going to kind of go around my page, kind of in a, in a swoopy. And this final guy is going to just be sitting over here. I like how they're kind of sitting on things. I don't know. I think they're cute. And like I said, they remind me of his girlfriend. And you know, the uh, subject of this is that he's so pleased with himself. I went into my chipboards and found this is my fade. Yes. And hi on a balloon. And my alphas, I'm going to use two different ones. And they're going to spell out this is so satisfying because I know his eyes and he's being a little bit Smirky, and I'm going to use probably this bottom bit with the catacorn, and I'm going to have my title down there. So, I mean, I have lots I still have to put down. I have stickers I can bring in. I've got these really great brads. So, what I want to do first is get all of these pieces down. I also should look through my paper pad to see if there is something I want to mat it with. 
I mean, I have so many patterns, it would have to be kind of plain, and I don't know if we really have that in here. So hold it down one second. Because I, I do like the bold black and white. I like that it is taking care of a lot. So let me see. Does this line up well enough that, okay, hmm, yep. I'm going to use this and have it line up so that the photo is right in the middle of one of those blocks of checks. So it'll be nice and dramatic. So I'm going to map my photo, get all of these pieces down, get my title down, and then start working the extra goodies in. So it's going to take me a minute. Hold done. Okay, so guys, this layout is making me die laughing. So I have all my little catacorns on, right? Then the next thing I did is I popped my title on and I made it imperfect because this is just a silly layout. So I have my catacorns going like that. Now remember, we had all these little bubbly shapes going on the sketch. This time I made the catacorns kind of follow the paper strips. That way they had a place to sit. Next, I popped in three brads from this Dear Lizzie set. And I just realized I just used a few of these pieces on another layout. So I must have had two sets of these brads. Kind of cool. All right, so I did that. I have this flare piece that I just had to use. It uh, reads, love you, colors match. And it's about, you know, a little coffee cup or a teacup. So that works. I popped the little chipboard balloon underneath the catacorn. So it looks like he has... He, she, this catacorn has a balloon. This one has a secondary title. This is my fave. Oh, and I have this word that reads yes. So it says, yes, this is so satisfying for my title. Awesome. So I was looking at other pieces and I didn't need to bring in the washi. I have so much going on. So now we are just down to doing a little bit of the decorative bits. And I just wanted to keep following the flow of the catacorn. So these two things right here are stickers that were part of the Webster's Pages sticker sheet. So I thought we could just pop them in in a couple places. They're just gonna add a tiny bit. I know it's not a big deal, but I thought I would do it with you. And I'm not sure if this one's gonna be sticky enough to stay down, let's see. So just a little bit of different, you know, the texture, the dimension and all that. Now I have these self-adhesive sequins that's gonna bring a little bit more gold in. So I'm digging that. Let's just try to grab some of that, the gluey bits with it. It doesn't tend to be cooperative. All right, let me grab some of my mini dots really quickly for this. I do love these, but I like the Zots ones best. I just didn't see them when I was at my Michaels the last time. All right, so we can put one there. Wanted to bring in some, so I'm gonna have a, lots of nice gold. I have gold in all the brads. I have gold in this chipboard. Oh, and behind me, just so you guys know, one of my pups is chewing a bone on the bed like it's his job. Quite the big deal. And the hubs was just in here too a minute ago, but he took blue out so that they didn't fight over the bone. Okay, so I have it there, there. And I think I'd like one kind of separating out that spot with this catacorn. Do I want to, you know, I think I want to bring in five. And then I'm going to finish off with just some of these twine and ink baby puffies. They are so cute. I think I'm going to leave them on my desk for the time being so I can start sneaking them into all kinds of layouts. I don't know when I got that. I have no idea. And I haven't used them and they're the perfect size for just a little bit of color. So one, two, three, three. Let's pop, ooh, how about one right there? That's interesting. And then let me get one more and that's gonna finish that off. One, two, three, four. And maybe right there. Do I want it right there? Well, that's where the sticky dot is. So that's where it's gonna go. Okay, so we have those on. Now let's see if these little puffy guys are still sticky. They're so cute. So probably bringing in the deeper pink because the blue isn't gonna really show up. Or the green, I really like the green. Let's, let's do some green. So let's just kind of not worry about them too much and sprinkle them around a bit so our eye can kind of follow along with the cute little green hearts. 
I can put one right there. We'll bring this one down here. So it's kind of cool. The way this layout just kind of, ev I mean, it's seriously, oh gosh, it evolved because I just used the product I had on hand and I, it just won't stick. I didn't plan it all that much, but when I cut the paper strips, it, I guess, decided for me the way it was going to go. Now, remember this kind of odd green die or, you know, cut file. I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's vintage. I know that kind of worked to have a place to put my photo. I have this really interesting um, pocket right here that's kind of plasticky. So there's a really nice amount of um, different textures and stuff. Okay, so I have the green on there. I'm not really bringing in much for yellow. I know that there's yellow in here. Do I wanna bring it in? The pink I have represented really, really well. Eh, we'll keep going. We will keep going. Let's go ahead and make a little bit more cluster work here. All right, I like that one there. Oh, that one's so cute. Let's do one up here as well with the sequin. Come on, little guy. Guys, some of these things are so old that the sticky stuff doesn't work anymore. Actually, I don't know if that particular product, the sticky, ever worked well, considering I have no idea where it came from. It's just hanging out in here. And let's do another pink one down here. So cute. Okay, so I have a few pink. I have the green. Now, we talked about bringing in mist in the beginning of this, and I'm kind of deciding. So what I think I'm gonna do is though, for me, I'm gonna try to be sparing with it, but keep it kind of interesting. So, does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense. All right, let's cover my photo a little bit. And I just kind of wanna go with that rainbow shape that I've been working on. Okay, sorry about the shaky, shaky noise. So let's see. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that's the kind of amount I was thinking, just a yibbit. Now I am prone to doing really prominent splatty bits, but I feel like I have a lot going on on this already, so I was trying to resist. Tiny bit. Okay, little tiny bit more around the title. And that is that we're, oh, I kind of want a little bit on the green too. Perfect. Ta-da. So that is somehow the catacorn layout, which is, yes, this is so satisfying. So let's do a bit of a close up. And I will take a photo, put it at the end of this video. And voila. So I'll also have the link down below for Scrappy Kathy's channel to see what she came up with for this sketch. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye friends.